Hey everyone, uh, thank you for taking a moment to uh, join me on this uh, video. Um, welcome to the channel and I uh, hope you all are having a good Monday uh, so far. It is sunny here, but it is cold outside. Um, so this video, uh, since we are um, upon the Christmas season, uh, this video um, is to kind of give you some insight. I've had a lot of people ask me where I buy certain vinyls, CDs, um, uh, pricing, things of that nature. So I've done a video similar to this a uh, number of months, uh, months back, but um, this is just to kind of give you an idea of what I use when I uh, am looking for items or I buy anything. Um, so the most practical, if you have an eBay account, if you buy on eBay, I would say my number one source uh, where I get not even Elvis stuff, but anything like movies, anything, I use eBay. Um, eBay is good in that uh, you either get a buy it now offer, you can bid. Um, I've gotten a lot of really cool vinyls in my collection. In fact, uh, did I move them? No, they're down here. Just to show you a few of uh, a few of these, hold on. Making a liar out of myself. This is just an example. Um, this is a uh, mono copy of Spin Out. Uh, it is, um, it, it's immaculate. It, it's a beautiful, beautiful um, copy. It comes with the a mint um, bonus photo. Um, this was by a seller that I've, I've bought from a lot over the course of the last probably six months. Um, but uh, I bought uh, from him and uh, I bid and some things, the bid goes way up and then once it hits a certain amount, I'm out. Um, but I got that for a really ridiculously low price. Um, I just was, I just tried to be uh, patient with it. Um, this is, let me see. This is another one that I bought um, from him. This is also a mono, uh, Paradise Hawaiian style. Um, absolutely spectacular. I, I, I doubt it's ever been played. Um, comes with the original sleeve. And I've shown, I've shown some of these on my channel before. Um, oh, excuse me. Uh, so um, that's just a few of the one, many that I've bought from, from this individual. Um, I will say I'm not patient with, let me put this up a little bit. I'm not real patient with um, bidding because you have like a week and you have to wait. Then you're bidding and competing with other people. And sometimes you get priced out. That's kind of the bummer. That's kind of the downside of bidding for an item. So I like to just have the opportunity to buy it outright. Um, another great source for buying uh, vinyl. Um, it's like a worldwide market and that's Discogs. So that's D-I-S-C-O-G-S dot com. Um, it's a worldwide market for vinyl, uh, for CDs, uh, even like cassettes, eight tracks, uh, books, things like that, but it's mostly music. Um, and if you're looking for anything with FTD, uh, and spot, you know, FTD, anything FTD, uh, whether it be vinyl or CDs, if you go in the search engine and you just put follow that dream, you'll see the follow that dream logo for Elvis's records pop up. You just click on it and it's in chron What's nice is it's in chronological order. It begins, of course, that label, uh, debuted in 1999 with CDs, vinyl in 2009 and it has everything if you click on a title it brings you to another page that shows you if, how many items are available you click on that and it gives you a range of prices and uh, it gives you the condition if it's mint usually the description will say sealed or sometimes it'll say open but never played uh played once um near mint condition it'll usually give you if it's if it's a reputable seller they'll give you um, the condition of the item that you're looking to to buy. So that's nice. The issue is, is they don't usually have the ability to post pictures of the items you're buying. So um, with the exception of a couple times that I've been burned, I will say my overall experience with Discogs has been very, very positive. Um, usually everybody you know, works well with you. It's where I bought my copy. If you look back at one of my older videos in my library, it's where I got uh, Elvis's Gold Records Volume 3. I got a mint, beautiful copy from somebody. I got it at an amazing price. And what's nice is some of these sellers offer um, 
the option of making an offer. You only get one shot, but if you make a reasonable offer, a lot of times it'll get accepted and you can get it cheaper than what they list it as. And I will tell you straight up, I am not shy. If I see something that's available and I think it's a little bit more than what I want to pay, um, you have an option where you can go to their, their, their store and you can email them and you can say, hey, you know, I'm interested in this item. Would you be willing to take this amount for it? And again, you got to be reasonable. You don't, you know, when I used to sell on eBay a couple years back, uh, if you had a make an offer option, I used to get ridiculously, almost insulting offers. I'd have something listed for like 125 or 150 and they'd be like, I'll give you 15 bucks for it. Like, I'm not even going to respond to you. Like seriously, so so make it a, a make it um, a competitive offer. Be fair to the seller because they're giving you something of value. So, I'm a firm believer that if it's something that's you know hundred hundred and fifty, you know I don't think it's out of the out of uh, I don't think it's a bad thing if you say you know would you give it to me for one thirty five. You know, you just don't want you just don't want to insult the person who's selling it. So I always try to be competitive because you don't know how other people that are also competing for that same item. Um, and Discogs is volatile, meaning that sometimes you'll see things um, that um, are a really good competitive price, and then you'll see some some things where you're like, I I just can't bring myself to pay that for it. So that's a good one. Another good site is Elvis for Sale, and that's Elvis, the number four, sale.com. Um, the owner, um, I've talked to him online before, very cool guy. He has really good prices. He has some um, uh, things that are, you know, kind of hard to find. He's got new releases, pre-orders, things that, uh, that matter. Check him out. Of course, you have the Elvis Shop of London. I think if you if you look it up, it's just El. The Elvis Shop London. Yeah, I don't think the of's in there. So it's just Elvis Shop, the Elvis Shop London dot com. Fantastic inventory. Um, and then um, that's one. Um, of course, you can also try Amazon. Amazon has a lot of different unique Elvis items. Um, you know, blankets, you know, throw pillows, shirts, uh, some CDs, vinyl, um, movies of his. Um so if you have that Elvis fan out there that you know you're buying for, um, you know there there's some really good stuff on Amazon. Of course, um, you have uh, the Graceland store, and I think that website is uh, store.graceland.com. That's store.graceland.com, um, and the other one is shopelvis.com. There's a caveat to that because, um, as some of you may know, probably about a year, year and a half ago. Um, the FTD uh, facility that houses the stock, they had a massive fire and it wiped out a ton of the inventory and, and, and completely destroyed a lot of the vinyls, the CDs that were kept. So in the last, uh, in the last uh, especially the last six to nine months, um, they used to have a, a pretty vast um, uh, inventory. If you go there now, there's like maybe 10 items of FTDs of anything you can get. It's because all that inventory got destroyed and it's, it's gone. It's gone forever. So um, both of those are good. Um, and uh, there's also, if you if you Google and put in Bear Family Records, um, it'll come up, the website. They're, uh, they're a company out of New, out of, uh, New Jersey. They're a company out of Germany. Um, they, uh, also specialize in a lot of Elvis things, Elvis books, hard to find books. Um, there's J, J A T publishing, which has some books. Um, they're, um, they used to have some FTD books. I don't think, I think they're sold out of those. Um, but just a lot of cool items. That's the thing. If you just do your research, um, you can find anything. If you, um, you know, from, from Elvis ornaments, um, Elvis records, uh, but eBay, eBay is probably your best bet. If you're looking for original presses, like some of the couple that I showed you, uh, got a little bit of pop-ups. If you go, uh, if you want to put in, and what I'll sometimes do is I'll put in like Elvis LPM or Elvis LPS for stereo or mono. LPM is mono. Um, if you put in like, like Elvis vinyl, um, you can find, uh, vinyl, that are original presses, some with bonus photos, but check the condition. You want to get something. If you're spending that kind of money, you want to get one. I usually don't buy anything less than near mint 
I'll splurge sometimes if it says it's in excellent condition because you have you have mint, which usually means mint and near mint usually mean they're mint is no doubt unplayed. It's never been played. It may have been open, but it hasn't been played. Uh, sometimes you'll even find them sealed, but you're going to pay a pretty penny. So if you find them un, if you find them opened um, with a bonus photo, look for at least near mint because that way um, you're you're making sure that you're getting something good for your money, get more bang for your buck. Um, you want to check the seller. Uh, eBay has seller ratings. It'll tell how many ratings there are for them. And uh, if it says 100%, that means they have a perfect rating. A lot of times you'll see 99.5%, 99.1%, sometimes 98.7%. So you want to make sure it's a reputable seller that you're getting it from. Uh, read the, read the, uh, the description of the item. Um, and it, again, if they're a reputable seller, they're going to have several pictures of the item that you're interested in. You know, look at the corners, make sure they're not bent or dog-eared. Um, you know, read the description, read it, uh, look it over, see what it says in there. Um, and then you just got to use some judgment um, and uh, and go from there. I have bought a ton of, of my original pressings. Um, and uh, yeah, um, there's another seller and uh, he has a channel here uh, on eBay. It's Robert Alanis. That's, uh, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. It's L A L A L A N I Z. Robert Alanis. I, I, again, I'm, Robert, if you're, if you're seeing this video, I apologize. Um, I have bought a lot of vinyl for him. He has a store. Uh, he actually has, um, a, a YouTube page, um, that's really good. He does very in depth. He's very, very knowledgeable. Um, he's been selling Elvis. He's been involved in the Elvis community for years and years, knows a ton uh, about these releases. Um, his most recent release, uh, his most recent video he did, very interesting. I enjoyed it immensely. Um, it was uh, about the Camden RCA releases and the uh, information about the releases, stuff that I didn't even know. So he's very, very knowledgeable. Um, and uh, he has a channel here on YouTube. And uh, I do know he sells. If you have a want list, you can email him. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, he'd appreciate that. Uh, but he has a lot, a lot of cool stuff. So that's the thing, man. If you, um, what I will try to do even is I will try to put uh, Robert's, um, uh, the link for his YouTube channel. And then if you go back, watch his videos, uh, he gives his email address and uh, you can reach out and you can get a want list. If there's things that you're interested in, that's what I've done. I've gotten a lot of great items from him. Uh, he packages it very well. He ships it out quickly. Just a good guy. And there are. There are so many good sellers out there. Um, there's no shortage of anything. If you're looking for anything Elvis, um, again, you have uh, Discogs.com, eBay, um, ElvisForSale.com, Elvis Shop of London, um, Amazon, uh, even as a last resort, Best Buy, I know, has some Elvis vinyl. If you're looking for, like, Elvis Records brand new, BestBuy.com. So, you know, if you're looking for that uh, that item that you're that you're after, um, yeah, just do your research. Um, that's what I do, and like I said, that's how I build up my collection. Um, but I, I just wanted to come on here and make that quick video. If you're if you're looking for something for yourself, or you're looking for a gift. Um, there's so many resources out there where you can get really good stuff. Um, it just takes a little bit of time and effort and on your part. So um, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, going forward, my videos for this month, as I said before, they're going to be a Christmas themed Christmas is, uh, an absolute amazing time of year for me. I love it. Um, a lot of time with my family. Um, I just, I just love the Christmas season. I love what it represents. I love being with family and just spending time with them. And, um, so yeah, so the, the, the remaining, uh, videos that I'll be doing, uh, will be uh, Christmas themed, and uh, so you you have to watch out, uh, look out for that. So, uh, as always, uh, be safe out there. Take care of yourselves, and uh, until next time, we'll see you. Bye.